Now the kids are gonna be fine. We've shown them a healthy marriage. This is just gonna be a blip on their radar years from now. This episode of The Hollywood Reporter News is brought to you by American Airlines, Hollywood's favorite airline. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the season finale of This Is Us, you might want to turn your volume down. This Is Us had us all up in our feelings and all out of tissues on Tuesday night. Luckily, Jack didn't die in a car crash, as last week's teaser foreshadowed. Instead, he drove to Rebecca's show drunk and then threatened to beat up Ben after learning he tried to kiss her. The couple then got in a massive fight at home. The next morning, Jack made one final impassioned speech professing his love for Rebecca, but he's still seen walking out the door, ending the show's first season. To make sense of this dramatic finale and emotional roller coaster of a season, The Hollywood Reporter turned to creator and showrunner Dan Fogelman. Fogelman said, From the very first pitch, this was the ending we talked about for the first season. There were a lot of questions as we leave this marriage in the most dire place it's been. But what about the teaser that made it seem like Jack died this week? We were ready for a lot of tears and a lot of tissues, so what does Fogelman have to say for himself? He revealed about Jack's impending death. It's multifaceted. As we'll see the setup that Kate talked about, how she feels responsible for Jack's death, it's not that that isn't true. Adding, now we're starting to brace the audience that it's coming and they should be ready for it. We're already bracing ourselves for more tears and tissues during season two, but honestly, we can't wait to see what happens next. Check out the full chat with Fogelman about the season finale, including an interview with Mandy Moore and Milo Ventimiglia, as well as the full season one timeline, emotional twists ranked, and season two burning questions on THR.com slash This Is Us. Now, This Is Us fans, I want to hear from you. How are you feeling after the season finale? On a scale of one tissue box to five, how emotional was it for you? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.